Hi guys, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's World About Watercolour. So today I'm going to do a warship for you, a battleship. Um, yeah, I did a, did a Spitfire aeroplane the other day and I got so inspired and I thought, hmm, I feel like keeping going on this theme. So I thought today I'd do you a warship, a battleship. So I just start with an outline. I'm using a mix of references, uh, one I got off Pixabay and also a reference of my own painting that I did from years ago. Um, I did an acrylic um, battleship. And so I've just slightly changed it a little bit and uh, yeah, doing a, just a different version of it. So for today, um, yeah, the last one I did was in acrylic. So this is uh, in watercolour, obviously. Um, so yeah, just popping in, drawing in all the radio towers and the satellite dishes and things like that. So pop all that in. And I'm using my Albrecht Dura watercolour pencil for that. So that way when I paint... Um, over the top it, the lines just sort of blend in and disappear so you don't see the drawing I'd, I sometimes like to see the drawing underneath but at the moment I'm going through it I don't want to see the drawing phase so, <laughs> so I'm using my watercolour pencils um, to just do the base drawing so as you can see it's a very sketchy drawing it's just very basic shapes it's not exact by any means um, so it's just my interpretation of, of the battleship so yeah, but I'm just having fun doing this. So just drawing all the little bits on. Now I'll do the bow wave. Just leave, I'll leave that paper white. Um, just do the outline shape of it. Put the ocean behind. Move the clip a little bit. And start to go in with a bit more detail just there. Just finish off that tower. The gun turret. Now I'm going to mix up the sky colour. So I'm going to go with a wet brush first and just wet the paper so just do the whole sky wet you know a blue tint so just to take the clear water over the top of everything and then I go back in because the ship will be a brownie grey so it doesn't matter if I go over the ship as well so I go in with ultramarine all around the sky into that wet in wet and let it do its thing let it create its own beautiful sky like that. Just take it to the bottom. It gets lighter at the bottom. So as it gets further away, the clouds get large at the top and they get smaller and smaller as into the distance. Now I'm just softening the edges up a little bit. Just like that. Just to, so they've got no definite hard lines because the sky never has hard lines. Now I'm mixing up a purple with ultramarine and um, um, Venetian red to make this purpley colour for the ocean. So darkest at the back and coming lighter towards the front, just leaving little gaps for the waves, just so that the little white caps have got the white bits of the paper. And I go in with a bit of pure ultramarine. And just give the colour some colour variation because the sky is reflecting on the water as well. Now I go back in a bit of a deeper ultramarine, a bit of a thicker consistency, less water, just over the top of that purple, the back. And I've got a bit of bit of a bit of paint cauliflowered there, so I just literally go over it with a damp brush and mop it out with a bit of cloth, and she's gone. She's all right again. <laughs> so as long as you get it while it's still wet, you can you can damp it, you can fix just about anything. So now I've mixed up a bit of that darker purple again and just a thicker mix of it and I'm taking that all around the darkest spots but being sure to let bits of other colour peep through here and there looking good now just I'll try and keep that bow wave Okie doke. Now I'm mixing up a grey with ultramarine and burnt umber. And I take that into the shadow side at the front of the bow. She's sort of on a bit of an angle. So she's sort of three quarters coming towards us. So the back's in shade, the other side's in shade. So I do that as dark, dark grey. And then I come in with a lighter grey on the sunshine side. So being careful to leave the bow wave like that. Just take that right down the side of the ship just like that just darken out 
let it flow into itself a little bit because wet in wet just let a bit of the darker gray go in just to model the color I'm gonna pop a little bit of brown in there as well so a bit of burn umber just a teeniest little bit in amongst that gray mix and now just take that all down I'll go back in with a damp brush and move it around a little bit just so it spreads out now I go into the fun bits at the top where all the structures are and that's the, this is the gun tower I'm popping in now or the cannon so now going behind that in a slightly lighter color just with that mix of gray that I've from burn umber and ultramarine that I already had on me on my palette pop a few of the little suggest where the antennas are going to be now I go down the side of the deck and there's some buildings and structurey bits there go wash that out in gray and there's a bit of a right there there's an undercover walkway um, so that's that's just very dark so it's all in shadow so now I just cut in some darker shapes around the outside just to give it a bit of a bit of dimension make it look like there's other little structures around here and there on the back so that's just a little satellite dish or an antenna so the lights hitting there a little bit so just leave that lighter and cut in behind it with a bit of dark just make a few little structurey shapes behind that's going to be another antenna tower like a radar tower I think another little one behind it little module thing so now I'm popping the tower in for the front dish like that and the little thing on top now I pop the big shape on there so that's um just like a big satellite dish or a big radio dish so except I've managed to muck up the edge of that and made it a bit too round so I go back in with the damp brush and just mop it up and just draw it in again and easy as that she's fixed because I, you know, I had it too round so I just literally got that out with a damp brush and a bit of cloth and went back in and or let it dry for a little bit and then go back in but now I'm just um, pop the antenna in, doing a bit more shadow. Apologise for the shaking. I'm, <laughs> I'm mixing my water and my paint and it's wobbled the table. So I apologise for that. Um, so now I'm just going in with the shadows into that undercover walkway that's on the side there. And I'll pop these windows in at the top. So there's a few, few little windows on the deck where the captain would stand. And all the, the main crew that run the ship. So pop that in. Now I just pop a few little bits. There's just like a couple of little windows, a little door, a couple of ladders. So I'll pop a little ladder there. Just darken up behind, really darken up behind that cannon. Uh, created just a bit of interest in here. So darken up there. Just make it look like there's some structures and some little differences in there. Now I go in with darkest darks into the real deep shadowy bits. Pop the shadows right in. So everywhere that's really dark, I just go under. And that's Payne's Grey I'm using. So just to, to really do the deepest darks, pop the little railing on there. Now pop the railing all around the edge there. Take it down a bit further. So I'm using the Burn Umber and Ultramarine for the railing just there. And I painted over that little hole where the anchor goes, but I'll just darken up around it. I can go in with a bit of white gouache and tidy that up after. And I'm still being careful to leave the bow wave as white as white paper because that's yep, yeah, just easier <laughs> so now I'm just graying up that undercover walk area just putting a bit of different color a bit of purple a bit of brown just because you know there'd be rust and a bit of texture and just different colors different lights sort of shining on different bits now pop the little lines in that radar tower or antenna just to find some of these dark shadowy bits 
darkest darks under the windows there, behind the cannon. Under the cannon. Just like that. So where all the darkest parts are, I'm just going back in and just re redoing them. So yeah, pop the details there onto the ant uh, antenna thing. So the dish, the satellite dish. Detail into those little rails on the side. Little ladder up there, little ladder there. All right, now I'm going to just take that railing down to the back of the ship. Now I'm going in with a little bit of burn umber just to mix up the colours a little bit on the ship and just to give it a bit of variation. And now I'm grabbing some uh, white gouache out of my other palette and just soften up. Just pop a few little highlights on here and there on the ship and soften the border at the bow and the bottom of the bow wave. Now put some little reflections on the ladders, and on the railings, and on this side of the windows and that other porthole, the other anchor hole that I lost. Pop a few ripples in. So looking good. And we're just about done. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I had lots of fun making it. Um, I'd love it if you'd click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And if click the bell icon and you know, then you'll see videos as I do them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day, guys. I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.